Okay, this is Mac OS X version 10.7.5 Lion running perfectly with full 64-bit support on an Intel Pentium D940 processor. Yes, this is the Pentium D processor, not dual core. Um, as you can see, the instructions it supports are MMX, SSC 1, 2, and 3, EM64T, and VTX, which means as VTX technology. But um, notice it does not support SSSE3, which is um, native 64 bit instruction, which um, Lion requires. So I'm going to show you that Lion boots and works fully with full 64 bit support on this system. So, go ahead and reboot it into Lion. I actually have it on this external hard drive, so I'm going to boot off that. Sorry about that. These, this soundbar thing, like, um, pops whenever the power goes off to it for some reason. As you can see, the Pentium D logo on the post screen right there. So as you can see it's in the Chameleon boot litter now. And we're gonna boot with dash F because my kernel cache causes a kernel panic for some reason. So let's go ahead and do that. I do have an NVIDIA GeForce GT 520 graphics card, so I can't use Snow Leopard because that card is unsupported in Snow Leopard. Okay, as you can see, we're on the Apple screen right there. And yes, I will post a link to the um, to the kernel I used and a special package you have to install to get past PCI configuration begin which happens on this system. So yeah, as you can see it's booting. It takes quite a while. Um, as you can see the hard drive lights flashing. You may or may not be able to hear the hard drive. The internal hard drive shuts off for some reason. Now it's starting back up. Alright, well anyway, I'll um, resume the video once it boots up. Okay, as you can see, it is successfully booted up into Lion, so let me go ahead and log in. Okay, as you can see, I'm in Lion. Um, yeah, I got full graphic support, no lag or anything. Translucent mini bars, you can see. So, let's go to about this Mac. As you can see, it detects the processor as a 3.19 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, which obviously it's a PMD. Um, yeah, the way this kernel works is it actually has an SSSE3 emulator, allowing Lion to run on um, non 32-bit um, hardware, I guess. Alright, so let me go into Activity Monitor. As you can see here, go to Finder, because there's Finder. As you can see, it's an Intel 64 bit application. And as you can see, it is Finder version 10.7.5 which means I'm not using the Lion Developer Preview 2 Finder, which supports 32-bit. This is a 64-bit only Finder. So, that's working. Um, so yeah, it's actually really, it runs really fast. See, Safari loads pretty quickly. I mean, I'm probably going to install this to my main hard drive as a dual boot. You can see the minimize effects have no lag at all due to the GeForce GT520 graphics card. As you can see, I have there. 
and I use the iAtcos L2 Dish Drive to install this operating system. As you can see, it detects it as a Mac Pro. Here's the computer right here. It's my bare bone PC that you can see in one of my earlier videos of me building. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, Lion fully working, full 64-bit support on a non-SSSE3 Intel Pentium D940 processor. Hope you enjoyed this video.